All right, you are welcome again. Today, let's talk about how to solve simultaneous linear equations using matrix. So one can actually solve simultaneous linear equations using matrix. It can be two equations, two unknown, three equations, three unknown, four equations, four unknown. Whatsoever, you can actually use matrix to solve it. Okay, now under this matrix that is using matrix to solve simultaneous linear equations, we still have three methods that one can use to approach simultaneous linear equations. Number one is determinant method, and number two is matrix inversion, and number three is gauss elimination okay so please we're going to take these one after the other i want you to follow this video gradually to grasp all that you need to get okay now let's go let's consider the first method which is determinant method now let's take a look at this question solve the system of equations using determinant method 2x plus y is equal to 7. 3x minus 5y equal to 4. These are the equations. Two equations, two unknown. 2x plus y is equal to 7. And the 3x minus 5y equal to 4. Okay? Now, let's go. So, listen. The first step, we are going to write these equations in matrix form. We are going to make use of their coefficients. So the coefficient of x is what? In the first one, we have 2. Then the coefficient of y is 1. So we're going to have 2, 1. And then under it, we're going to write the second one. We have 3 minus 5. So these are giving us a matrix. Okay? We are going to form another matrix, x, y, which is our variable. And then we say equal to the constant, which is 7, and 4. So we form the matrix this way. We say 2, 1, 3 minus 5, x, y equal to 7 and 4. Alright? Yes. Now pay attention. Now we're going to have this first matrix 2 by 2 that we have here. 2, 1, 3 minus 5. Let's call it matrix A. So this matrix A, we're going to find the determinant of this matrix. You know, we are talking about using determinant method, okay? So here, we're going to find the determinant of this matrix, 2 by 2 matrix. So for us to find the determinant, we're going to say 2 times minus 5 minus 3 times 1. So 2 times minus 5 is minus 10, so minus 3. So minus 10 minus 3 is equal to minus 13, okay? So the determinant of this matrix A is minus 13. So, let's go again. We're going to form another 2 by 2 matrix. And I want you to pay attention. This one, let's call it A subscript X. Or you can decide to call it AX. A subscript what? X. Now, the first column, what are we having in the main matrix that we have? We have 2, 3 as the first column, right? So, we are going to replace this first column with the constant that we have. Hello, the constant that we have is 7, 4. So this first column, we're going to replace it with the constant. We're going to replace 2, 3 with the constant 7, 4. Then we call this matrix, matrix AX. So we're going to have matrix AX is equal to 7, 1, 4, minus 5. Okay, now let's go. We're also going to find the determinant of this matrix. The determinant of this matrix. What would be the determinant? I want to say 7 times minus 5 minus 4 times 1. So 7 times minus 5 is equal to minus 35. Then minus 4 is equal to minus 39. Okay? So the determinant of AX is equal to minus 39. Now let's go again. I'm going to form another matrix. And let's call it AY or A subscript Y. Now, in this case, now, you know, the first 
one that we formed we we'll replace the first column okay now this one now we're going to replace the second column so the second column is one minus five so we replace this second column with the constant so the constant we have is seven four so we replace the second column which is one minus five with seven four so the new matrix a y is going to give us two seven three four okay two seven three four now we're also going to find the determinant of this matrix a y to find the determinant we're going to say two times four minus three times seven so two times four is eight and then three times seven is 21 so we have eight minus 21 which is equal to minus 13 okay yes so you know we have formed two matrices and then couple with the matrix that we have so here we are having three determinants okay now to find the value of x we are going to say the determinant of a x divided by the determinant of a hello to find the value of x we are going to say the determinant of a x divided by the determinant of a so the determinant of a x we have is minus 39 all over the determinant of a is 13 so we say minus 39 divided by 13 is equal to what 3 so x is equal to 3 and then to find y we're going to say the determinant of a y divided by the determinant of a the determinant of a y or a subscript y divided by the determinant of a so the determinant of a y is minus 13 divided by the determinant of a which is also minus 13 so minus 13 divided by minus 13 is equal to 1 so here we found out that our x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 1 our x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 1 all right let's go let's take another example this one uh let's take 3 by 3 okay that is three equations and three unknown let's see how we're going to solve it also okay now let's go let's take a look at this question number two solve the following system of equations using the determinant method the first equation we have x plus 3y plus 9z is equal to 4. the second equation 2x minus y minus 5z is equal to minus 1. then the third equation x plus y plus 2z is equal to 1 all right yes we have three equations three unknown and we are asked to find the values of x y and z using matrix and under matrix using the determinant method okay so how are we going to write this the first step we are going to write these equations in matrix form we're going to write these equations in matrix form so the first equation we have x plus 3y plus 9z equal to 4 so the coefficient we have 1 3 9 okay uh -huh. now the second equation we have 2x minus y minus 5y 2x minus y minus 5z equal to minus 1 so the coefficient is 2 minus 1 minus 5 so that gives us our second row okay then the third column so the third row that is the third equation we have x plus y plus 2z so the coefficient is 1 1 2 you get it then we form another matrix a column matrix then we have x y z equal to the constant 4 minus 1 1 is that clear yes now let's go you know the matrix we have here we have three by three matrix one three nine two minus one minus five then one one two so let's call this matrix matrix a okay so this matrix a we have one three nine two minus one minus five one one two so let's find the determinant of this matrix 
okay all right you know previously we have treated how to find determinant or three by three matrix okay so in that uh lesson we treated how to find the determinant using the first principle and also how to find the determinant using rule of cyrus all right yes please i want you to make use of any of them to find it okay now the determinant of a is going to give us three okay yes now let's form another matrix let's call this matrix a x or a subscript x so this a subscript x look at the main matrix that we are having you can see this three by three matrix right good let's replace the first column with the constants that we are having you know we have the first column to be one two one okay so we are going to delete this and then replace it with our constant so what is our constant we have our constant to be four minus one one okay so when we replace it we are going to have matrix ax equal to four three nine minus one minus one five one one two okay this is also a three by three matrix right so let's also find the determinant of this matrix ax so when we find the determinant the determinant is going to give us three all right yes let's go again and form another matrix called matrix a y so this matrix a y i'm going to replace the second column with the constant that we have what is our second column? Our second column is 3 minus 1, 1. So we're going to replace this with our constant, which is 4 minus 1, 1. All right? So the matrix AY is going to be 1, 2, 1, 4 minus 1, 1, 9, minus 5, 2. Okay? Let us also find the determinant of this matrix. So when we look for the determinant of this matrix, the determinant is going to give us minus 6. The determinant is going to give us minus 6. Okay? Now lastly, let's form another matrix called AZ. Okay? Or A subscript Z. Now, in this case, you know, the first one, we replace the first column with the constant. The second one, you replace the second column with a constant and then the third one now we are also going to replace the third column with the constant so the third column is nine minus five two so we replace these with the what the constant which is four minus one one all right yes so when we replace we're going to have the matrix a subscript z to be one three four 2 minus 1 minus 1 1 1 1 okay now let's also find the determinant of this matrix a subscript z so when we find the determinant the determinant is going to give us three all right yes now the four matrices that we have matrix a matrix a subscript x matrix a subscript y matrix a subscript z so we found their determinant, okay? So the first one, we found the determinant to be 3. The determinant of AX to be 3. The determinant of AY to be minus 6. And the determinant of AZ to be 3. Okay? Now, let's go. To find the value of X, we're going to say the determinant of A subscript X divided by the determinant of A. Okay? The determinant of a subscript x divided by the determinant of a now what is the determinant of a x is equal to three and then the determinant of a is equal to three so we have three all over three which is equal to one all right yes now let's go again the value of y we're going to say the determinant of a y divided by the determinant of a what is the determinant of a y the determinant of a y is minus six divided by the determinant of a which is three so we're going to have minus six divided by three which is equal to minus two all right yes now lastly what will be the value of z 
So we're going to say the determinant of A subscript Z divided by the determinant of A. So the determinant of A subscript Z is equal to 3 divided by the determinant of A, which is 3. So we are going to say 3 divided by 3, which is equal to 1. All right? Yes. So finally, we have solved this system of simultaneous equations. And then we found out that our X is equal to 1, our Y is equal to minus 2, and the Z is equal to one all right yes thank you let's take the second method called matrix inversion let's continue